spoil greetings. All right, uh, I did a I did a video about um, Dimension X yesterday. The audio did not uh, record. Um, why am I not surprised? I'm not sure if the audio is working on. Yeah, it's working on this one. Uh, yeah, because Windows did an update, and the streaming software I use it shut it. It took off the audio for some reason. I didn't notice it. I wasn't really thinking that straight either. There, you know, there's and even now there's things going into me like doesn't want me to really be clear about anything. So it made it all kind of makes sense. So basically, Dimension X is oh, that's right. Brought to you by Fifth Dimension. Uh, I forgot to say that. <laughs> so it's it's the morning after. I was going to do this after the video but my brain was just not working and it really isn't still not working but we'll do what we can so uh basically dimension x is is you know the archon manipulation of our world you can say also it doesn't have a sun it does control the clones here at least it's involved with it some kind so it basically manipulates our Reality, it is in the fourth dimension. It could be in other, it's in other dimensions, obviously. But dimension X sounds, it just made more sense than calling it Planet X. It technically, Dimension X is on another planet from what it seems like, but another dimension, another version of Earth. It's something like you would see in the Matrix, you know, when all the buildings are all ripped up and, you know, you, you know, um, like it's been through a bomb. I don't think it looks exactly like that. The people there are miserable. I feel the psychic energy of them watching us. Now, there's different, like a precog, like you see in um, Minority Report. And this has been going on for a long time. Now, to give you more understanding, it's like the buildings and the structures here, I don't know exactly what they look like, but it's something like they see in modern times. Think about a modern black building, but think about that in the 1800s or in the beginning of history, you know, but in another dimension. Basically, it's like, um, cause I can't remember everything I said for obvious reasons. They're messing with my thinking as I was going through it, like I'm feeling doing it. So having no audio made, it's it sucks, but so this is kind of like a recap. I'm not going, I'll, I'll go further into it tonight again, because just the mood kind of works better if it's in darkness. Because it's a little bit, you know, the world's more quiet and I can connect to their reality because their reality is dark also. It just, it just makes it easier. We just like the mood of it because they're miserable people. They are human. Um, I don't see any arc. I mean, archons are there. It's kind of like a, a shit reality basically and now where this all came from i did the clone connection and i'm not gonna go into the whole history of all this but i got the clone connection so i started exploring the clone energies and then i found more into this archon uh, dimension now i've seen this before here and there i didn't really dive into it the archon dimension i think i called it it's something like you see in the matrix but this time I'm getting a little bit more details of, of course, take it with a grain of salt. I can't prove anything, uh, but at least it's information. You know, you never know. Uh, it's not something you're going to run into, but it is a dimension where, um, you know, you have like a, a group of people that are assigned to like one person or a family, probably most likely a family. So they, yeah, they, they try to interrupt you. Um, so most people are lost when they incarnate here. So they kind of keep you on that track. The, basically the idea is to keep you, you know, shut down. And so it's, it's their task is to keep you in the matrix basically. And so they get you with a bad relationship or they get you somebody that'll keep you asleep. You know, now that didn't come up yesterday, which makes a lot of sense. So uh, yeah, I really, if I can, I don't know what to do about that, delete it or what, but I might just delete it. So, um, with this, um, reality, uh, they're miserable. 
uh, and they can't really leave it. Now they have say, say no, no, now they have some there on the computers or whatever the hell they were using. I imagine it's computer reality, and they're kind of like pissed off that they're even there. Um, now there's another reality I mentioned. It's kind of like the movie Gattaca. Uh, if you look up Gattaca, it's a science fiction movie. Uh, I'll show it later tonight. I'm not going to. I'll be lucky if this is going to go up to loads anymore. Uh, but Gattaca is something I brought up before, where it's like a perfect reality, but it's very controlled. Uh, and that is like connected to your mass population. It's like we have reality and reality we're connected to. This reality is like to keep you happy in another dimension, also keeps you kind of secure here. I know it sounds weird, but nothing here makes any sense. <laughs> So why not put it out there and let people dive into it, see what you get. It makes a good movie, let's put it that way. Uh, but you know, art imitates life, basically. So our reality is more messed up. It's more the truth of what's going on is so bizarre. People think maybe it comes out of a horror movie. That probably won't be too far from the truth. I mean. A horror movie that is be, just like, I cannot believe this is going to exist. It's that type of what we're heading towards to open up the matrix, basically, for your mind from it. Uh, but the Gattaca reality, I mentioned this a while ago. I didn't show it, though. It's like, a you know, when people wake up there, they have to hide it. And if they, you know, hide that, they, wait a minute, this isn't right. I'm going to control society. And they're telling me what to think. And you break out of that, and your third dimensional person wakes up here too. It's like you're, you know, and then I'm not sure what that happens to that other version of you. If they die or what they go, go into the fifth dimension. I don't know what happens to them. Uh, but it's like it keeps you in the comfort zone. You connect to other realities where you're comfortable. So you're comfortable here. So if you have a lot of time where you're miserable and you're miserable here, it's like it's, like it's a little bit easier to wake up. Like if you have health problems or something like that, it forces you to go within. It's like nothing's working. I can't get healed. So I go to metaphysics. Maybe I can find something there. It's like, wait a minute. What the? And you find a whole other reality or another way of looking at the world. So uh, Dimension X is, uh, yeah, basically an archon reality, kind of a shit reality that's watching us. You do have precog beings that are psychic. They try to like see our future. Like you'll get points if you see the future. If they can, if they can, if they can see your future and you do it, they get points. Now, if you're wrong, you get penalized. From what I'm gathering, I have a family member that hears voices. It's kind of interesting how I grew up in that type of environment, where she said these are real people, and I've actually talked to them, and you know they give her pain. They do this and that. I mean. But they do talk to you back. They don't give you any detail, but they they listen mostly. Uh, but there's like you're in an office environment. Now they're also connected to like Raytheon, CIA stuff like that. Uh, some of them come into our reality somehow. I don't know how that, I don't know how that works. Uh, but it isn't another reality that's watching us. Not to put out paranoia or anything like that. Uh, but you might as well face it while you can't, you know, get over yourself, I guess, with that. Because obviously angels and positive beings are around us too. But there are a lot of beings that aren't very positive that want to keep us in this reality. So obviously when I'm bringing this stuff up, I'm getting interfered with. I can't think straight. My audio is not recording. Big surprise. Because <laughs> that, 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 that update I did should not have done what it did. It was just an update, but it did take a long time, and it just it just wiped out my audio. I mean, I, I, I added it back after I realized it was gone, but I wasn't thinking that clearly anyway. I did the stream. I was just thinking about what I was about to say. I wasn't checking all. I don't usually check everything. But usually everything's fine, but you never know live streaming. You never know. You always take a risk. Even here, you take a risk sometimes. I have two different mics. The mic I use for live stream is a lot different. Yeah, it's in the corner here. It is going to work with this thing. So, so uh, I'll go into further detail. I also channeled a Martian. I'll do that later. I don't know if he's going to come back. I think they will because they want to have themselves known. 
So um, basically, a Martian of uh, it was a neutral Martian of manipulation. <laughs> that's just great. Uh, that's right. You mentioned, if I remember right, yeah, about Martian DNA. We are removing Martian DNA to waken up ourselves. So we we wake up, we remove the Martian DNA that we have. Martian DNA is to keep us kind of in this reality. So when, now there's good Martian DNA apparently, but there's also it's uh, like prison DNA. So it's another thing that does keep you. I know. Good luck on proving any of this. Well, we see astral DNA, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's like a, it's like focus on the materialism, focus on your life. Don't look within. Martian DNA is written all over that. So I was like, that's right. It mentioned, um, <clears throat> I say it, but uh, the being mentioned, you know, reptilians and felines are seen as, or I mean, archons are seen as like the villains, but the Martian is never really mentioned that much for many reasons. They keep their, they keep out of it, but they're very much involved in our manipulation. Of course, Saturn is seen as the same way. But Mar Mars is, it keeps us focused in the third dimension. It's like a necessary evil. Um, so take it as you will. But yeah, this is a, um, you know, all this information, it's there to help us. I mean, I know it's out there, but nothing here makes any damn sense. So, I mean, look at it. Just, uh, it's like we're living in a nightmare, basically. So, I mean, the clone energy, they do control the clones. I even connected to a little bit more on the clones. I didn't go into this last time. I'm not going to go into it anytime soon. But there's some clone energy I connected to that I'm still trying to figure out myself. Um, I'm not going to go into that too much. I'm going to go, I'm going to continue on. To, uh, we'll see what we get to tonight. Um, I think the audio is working this time. Oh, I'll have to test it this time. I believe it's fine, though. You're always taking a risk anytime you do a live stream. So you never know. Um, so that is basically the gist of it. I can't remember every detail I went into, but like I said, it's kind of like a hell of an environment. They, the main thing is that they predicting what we're going to do. So you can keep us in the matrix. They bring, they bring, put you in relationships. Now this is mentioned in the neutron um, radio also. I'm trying to go into a little bit more detail. I'll give you a name to it. Dimension X is also um, from the Ninja Turtles uh, with a lot of weird creatures and all that come out of. But Dimension X felt a lot really like that's the Archon dimension. That's the one that's really screwing with us. Now, of course, there's reptilians involved with this too, but the Archons are really, you know, it's like a whole, like a whole world dedicated to watching us keeping us focused on this reality and putting us in relationships wherever it is can we can decay ourselves and ruin ourselves it doesn't matter as long as you're in this reality you know they push for suicide whatever it takes they want to win so us awakening to all this scares the shit out of them they don't like that they don't like talking when i was channeling can i do it they didn't like that, so they're causing me to have issues here and there, at least thinking wise. So they don't want me to think clearly when I connect to them, because this is like the Archon Grid. This is the main, the main show. So like I said, it's kind of like a, a craft reality. I would say there's buildings. I mean, you can look at it however you want, but it's like a hellish, like a real. It's dark. They're like in dark buildings, dark. You know, they're just in front of computers and stuff like that, from what I can see you know, holographic technologies, whatever it is. They go through us, they have pictures of us on the wall or wherever, however you want to word it, and they just kind of predict our future, basically. So, like, a clone would be good for this family and that, fa you know, they it's like hell. But it's like, you know, you, you might as well start, you know, I mean, you want out of this, you might as well just have a major open mind just because you can't, see it but you can connect to it spiritually that's the deal they don't want people opening up psychically obviously they want people confused and want to look at it as a bad thing because when you open up your psychic abilities it's end game for them it's party over for them game over for them 
when more people take it seriously. Now, it's not going to be perfect, but when people start... Oh, I got to deal with. <laughs> it just does not. It just, just does not stay. All right, I'll be back. I, go, I thought about holding it. <laughs> it's like maybe if I just hold it. Yeah. So I mean, it just gets better and better. Here, I'll be back. One second. Jeez. Shit. Yeah, it's just like modern technology. Back to the Stone Age. Come on. Now even this falling down. I mean, come on, give me a break. Yeah, there's definitely. It just feels like nothing wants. This is not exactly a subject matter they want out. I think it's okay now. Yeah, so it's not, this isn't exact, I mean, this, when I talk about this, I feel weird. I mean, I know this is all bizarre, but also I get this feeling like he shouldn't be talking about any of this. It's, I feel like I'm not really, I mean, I'm connecting, but it's like, I don't feel comfortable. Let's put it that way. <laughs> so, um, the diving into this is, uh, I'm going to I'm going to go into their vibration today. I'll probably be really tired after that, but um, I am t t channel t tapping into them right now. Uh, I'm not getting a good feedback, that's for sure. But yeah, like as, as I was saying, as that fell down, yeah, as more people to connect to their spiritual connections, see, they're looking at it as a bad thing, psychic and you know, spiritual. They look at it. They want to make it look like it's all just, it's bad. Oh, you're channeling a demon. This is all evil. That's what they want. <laughs> and they're doing a good job. I think churches are teaching you about channeling and all that. Even like you can have demons as pastors here. And they are here. Having a demon as a pastor is probably not, not anything new. Or even a priest for that matter. I can go on and on with that. <laughs> It's like they don't want you connected to your, they don't want you to go by their version of spirituality and not your own. They want to keep you away from yourself. And this is a war. This is, this is, uh, see the mic fell down, no audio last night. I mean, come on. I mean, they're just, they're just fucking around. So, <sighs> so I don't know what else to say. I can't think of anything. There's probably more. But uh, I just want this. This is basically a recap of yesterday. Uh, and I'll go further into the details tonight. I have to check the audio. And um, it's basically going to be Dimension X Redux. I don't know what Redux means, but I like the name of it. The way it sounds. So, yeah, we're going to further dive into their reality. Oh, yeah, that's right. Another thing was AI, an AI creature is running it, like a ward, like a dark ward type of thing, which is connected to, um, I mean, when you get into more of the, I guess the creepy version of it or the higher, you can see an AI creature running around is not a surprise. Now it is so connected to, basically, because they feel like AI or robots are stronger. Uh, you wipe this one out, you got a whole nother one right here. Um, you know, once again, like a cloning type of thing. It's like kind of like Ultron. Ultron in uh, the comics, uh, basically, he can run very, like, clones of himself. Might be not the main one, but it's it's versions of it. So it's something like that. I know people will, like, roll their eyes like, oh, this is all just a big joke. Well, go back to Walmart and be a programmed, you know, uh, monkey basically and that's it's like you, you start diving into this stuff it sounds like science fiction but remember fiction gets it from reality so like the matrix yeah they might add all this shoot em up stuff onto the matrix movie but you know the overall ideas there's something else going on here 
and there are agents what's called the men in black so to keep you here so obviously they're letting me talk now but people aren't going to take it that seriously uh but then again you never know <laughs> so that's the gist of it we'll just leave it at that they're not making this easy that's for sure it doesn't feel like it's like go back to sleep go lay down don't do any i'll talk about this go live the good life go on the beach or something like that uh so like i said when i found the the clone energies which i don't normally connect to i dived into that and then i found dimension x i've seen this before here and there but nothing like this so i'm getting a little bit more detail so um i guess like an ai queen that's running the show it all comes back to a woman in the long run that's fine not really i mean it, it's like the mothership the mother being that's running darkness here it's a nightmare scenario it sucks so all right uh blessings everyone and all right see you soon